Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nazmus Kandiker and I'm the host of your video. And in this video, we'll take a look at reinstalling Microsoft Windows 7 or Microsoft Windows Vista. And so in this video is about the easiest way to reinstall Windows. And the method I'm going to show you will work for any, any version of Windows you're currently using, uh, either Windows XP, Windows Vista, or Windows 7. So if you wish to reinstall Windows 7 when you already have Windows 7, say you might have a virus, you might want to reinstall Windows, this method will work. Now people might tell you that to reinstall Windows you have to put up a whole day, ba uh, back up all your uh, data to an external hard drive and then change your BIOS settings, boot from a Windows DVD and then you have to format your hard drive and then install Windows and then copy all your files back from the external hard drive. Um, no, 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 no. This is not the 1990s anymore. This is not the era of Windows XP. The Windows 7 and Vista installers have become so advanced that reinstalling Windows is actually easier than some people make it to be. It's very easy. So in this video, let's dive in and show you the world's easiest and the best way to reinstall Windows. Okay, so I'm on my Windows 7 desktop. Um, so you could, this could be Windows Vista, Windows XP, or even Windows 8. Um, so yeah, you could downgrade from Windows 8 to Windows 7 if you want to, um, which using the method I'm going to show you. Um, so yeah, if you're on your desktop, so what we're going to do is launch the Windows setup directly from Windows. Uh, but before I do, make sure just to be safe, just to be safe, um, you don't need to do this, but just to be safe, just back up your documents to an external hard drive. Or a flash drive, if, uh, whatever uh, you wish to back up it to, or the cloud, uh, your pictures, personal photos, music, just back it up in case something goes wrong. Most likely, nothing will happen, and you don't need to back it up. But just to be safe, just back it up. Uh, in case something does happen, you can restore it from another source. You know, always be safe than sorry. Okay, anyways, so what you're going to do is launch the Windows setup directly from Windows. Um, there's two ways you could do that. You could insert insert your Windows installation DVD in your DVD drive and run setup. Or if you have an ISO image, an ISO image file, you could use a software to virtually mount that um, ISO image as a in your computer and run the setup directly from ISO. So yes, you can install this uh, from an ISO file. You don't need to burn it to a CD or a DVD. Uh, I have tested. I have tested it, and it works. I've tested it multiple times, and it works. So, but I have a Windows 7 installation DVD, Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit. Um, uh, so I'm what I'm. Okay, so I have inserted my Windows 7 Home Premium DVD in my DVD drive, and uh, when you do that, um, or when you mount an ISO, you might see a auto up, auto run pop up. If it does come up, just click Run Setup.exe. If it does not, uh, we'll, we could go to my computer, or we could just start, or my computer. And if you're on Windows 8, there is no start button, so we go to the libraries folder and click computer from here. So when, when are we? When we are in my computer folder, um, you'll see uh, the Windows 7 uh, setup icon on your DVD drive or Windows Vista if you have Vista. So all you need to do is uh, right click and click open. And then we'll need to double click the setup.exe icon. This is setup. You'll have the Windows uh, installation lo uh, logo. So all you do is double click setup. And we'll have a, a pop up warning. Make sure you're running and you know, installing from an administrator account. And then click yes. Um, so Windows 7 or Windows Vista installation uh, dialog box should pop up. Uh, if it asks you to choose a language, do so. I chose English and then keyboard layout and the country and click next. And now we should have uh, the install, install now dialog box. Uh, just click install now and we're off we go. It's a setup is starting. Wait for it to start. This will take uh, the time it takes will depend on how fast your CD or DVD drive is. Um, okay, so it's asking me whether I want to get updates for the installation. I always recommend that you get you get update the latest updates. So in case there's a bug, uh, the update should patch it up. Um, so I recommend you click that. I also like to send Microsoft anonymous data um, so they could improve the install experience. So I'll check that. You don't have to do that. So we'll get the update. It's searching for the update. It downloaded the latest update. Now it's going to restart. 
so now we have the latest version of the installer. And now setup is restarting. Okay, so setup restarted and we have this license agreement. Um, we'll need to agree to this before we can install. So we'll click next. Now you have two options, to upgrade or do a custom install. We only do the upgrade if you're upgrading from a previous version of Windows. Uh, so if you're going from XP to Vista, we upgrade. If and Or if you're going from Vista to 7, you upgrade. But you only upgrade if you want to keep your app current desktop applications. If you don't want to keep any of your desktop applications, do not click upgrade. Also, you cannot upgrade from XP to 7 or you cannot upgrade from uh, yeah so yeah the only the only way you could use this is XP to Vista or Vista to 7 also if you want to reinstall Windows 7 or reinstall Windows Vista and you already have the same operating system we do custom for every other scenario we do custom so in case in this case since I already have Windows 7 and I'm reinstalling Windows 7 we will click custom Alright, so when you click uh, uh, custom, we have the option of disk partitions. So these are the partitions on my uh, uh, hard drive. Um, so what you want to do is select the partition where Windows is currently installed. So if you're running Vista or 7 and Windows is installed on C drive, we'll choose C. So make sure to select the partition that Windows is currently installed because we need to replace our current operating system with the, with the, new, with the new OS. So I have Windows 7 on my C drive and I'm going to, have to want to replace it with the new installation so I'll choose the C, C and then click next. Now you get a uh, notification saying that you're about to install Windows where Windows is already installed. What this will do is that it will put copy all your files, not move all your files like personal files, documents, music and all other files that are that's currently on your uh, C drive into a folder called windows.old. So once you're done installing, we could go back to that folder and get the files we need. So we'll click OK. Now it is installing Windows. Now notice that um, it's starting, so it will copy the Windows files, expand them, install the features, uh, install the updates and complete the installation. But notice that I'm still currently running the setup from Windows. So if I press start, there's my start menu, there's my taskbar, Windows is running within Windows 7. So this is a much easier way, say I could run the internet if I, I could open up Internet Explorer and actually browse the web while this is installing. Do not start any work here because it will restart and you'll lose any unsafe work. So, but you can't browse the web while you're waiting for this to install. So, um, uh, you can see uh, Bing is loading. Uh, so yeah, full internet. So I could browse the web if I, uh, uh, like freely until well this installs. So, again, I'm going to pause the video until the computer restarts. So, see ya later in a bit. Okay, so Windows has restarted. So what it had done is Windows Setup has copied all of the setup files um, from the disk to the hard drive and restarted the Windows. Uh, Windows and now the installation will continue from the hard drive. So if you had mounted an ISO image, don't worry about it because all the important files are copied to the hard drive. If you had put a DVD inside, you can easily take it off um, because um, the DV is not going to be used. It's all running for the hard drive. Okay, so Windows Setup has finally finished installing. It didn't took took like 30 minutes, um, or a little less than that. Um, so now it's finished installing. So now it's uh, asking for some basic information. So I'll type it in, and we're off we go. I always recommend uh, installing the latest updates, so we'll choose the recommended settings. I am in central time, so I'll pick central time. There we go. Date's fine. Time's fine. Off we go. I'm at home network, so I'll click that. It's setting up my network. Well, it's almost done. It's Windows is finalizing your settings. So we'll let him do that, and... Um, there we go. 
you should see the welcome screen and you should soon see the desktop but that's not the end there's the best parts here yet to come preparing your desktop that's what you get um the first time we're installing or logging in oh by the way if you're asked to um, activate or enter your product key make sure to do that if your part product key came with uh, your computer it might have automatically activated it or if it doesn't and ask for the key it should be behind it should be underneath your com computer so yeah for more information part key go to microsoft.com okay so I have finally logged in to my desktop um, as you might see my resolution is much lower than it was before and my arrow glass is gone and that's because um, when it is a fresh install of Windows and I have to reinstall all my drivers basically Windows update will take care of that automatically so Windows updates will automatically install the latest graphics driver and such and the next time you restart Windows everything should be fine uh, if you do need to install drivers manually this will be the time to do it but I will not go over that um, that's another part that's the topic of another video installing drivers um, now you have a fresh copy of Windows installed but now this is important we did not format our hard drive as some people like to say format your drive before installing Windows I do not agree because I'll show you a clear benefit of not formatting your hard drive and doing it the way we did. Now we have a windows.old folder and this is our old C drive. Whatever was in our C drive before is now here. So now you could see all your desktop applications, um, you could see your Windows directory, but what we are most important interested in is the users file. When you double click that you'll see all the users that was in your computer. Um, I don't have any more any more users than than myself in this PC, but if you have more, you'll have multiple user folders. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is cop, open up my username and double click my documents. As you can see, all my documents are here. So what I'm gonna do is select all. I'm gonna cut it. Don't click copy. Click cut. This is very important. Go to my new documents and paste it and the reason is the process is instant when you copy it it's going to show you a copy dialog box it's going to take um, if, it, if, it, if your files are more than gig it's going to take a long time if you don't have a flash fast uh, hard drive but if you cut it regardless of the size of your files uh, if you have hundreds of videos and music it's going to be instant so I'm going to go back this is my documents now empty I'm gonna do this with my pictures, my music, my everything. So uh, basically, this is all the pictures I had before. I'm gonna cut, put this in my pictures, paste. So basically, as you can see, it's an instant process. So I recommend you cre recreate all the users you had and then copy, cut, and paste all the user documents. So now all your personal files are here and you're good to go all, all my documents music and pictures are there as if nothing happened you will need to reinstall your desktop apps but um, that's not shouldn't be that bad so one more important thing I want to go over is that if you finish uh, once you're finished cu cutting and pasting all the files we don't want this old Windows folder to waste space because this is going to waste a lot of space especially if you had a lot of programs before so we need to get rid of this but I want to let you know that you cannot delete this folder it won't let you delete it and if, if we try errors could occur so here's a proper way to delete this windows.old folder so click um, so uh, to delete the windows.o folder we open up all programs and then we click accessories and then we click system tools and there's disk cleanup cleanup we could have also typed in disk cleanup d i s and then there it is once you click that let it load Okay, so once this opens up, we need to select clean up system files. So now it'll ask you, it might ask you for your password. If so, then give it to it and then we'll start relaunching. So we'll wait till this is done. Okay, so once this loads, we should see uh, lots of options. 
what I would do is check, you could check the other ones if you want, but what I would do is check the pre previous Windows installation folder. So it ha I had 11.9 gigabytes, but I didn't have any other software installed. So if you had like Office or Photoshop, you'd have way more gigabytes. Sometimes I have like 40 gigs or 50 or 60. If I have games, I have 100 gigs of stuff in there. So what you need to do, once you have cut, cut and paste everything, make sure you have cut and paste everything. We select it and click OK and this will delete, permanently delete that Windows.old folder. So don't manually delete it, but use this method and you'll be fine. So, yeah. Again. This is way better than formatting your hard drive. It's formatting and booting from the disk. It's faster, it's safer, you don't need to burn an ISO. You could direct, direct directly from an ISO. Just have let, let Windows update and install your dive drivers and you should be good to go. So um, so there's my video on the easiest way to reinstall Windows.